Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's another day. It's my last weekend in Korea, my last weekend in Sejong. That is it. Sorry, I'm looking down there because there's people. <laughs> oh, there's anyway, um, yeah, it's my last weekend in Korea, in Sejong. And yeah, you know what? Um, I, I'm glad that I came for the amount of time that I came over because last time I felt it was very little. I came for pretty much only seven eight days so and i only got to experience mostly seoul so this time i got to experience more sejong joshuan seoul and yeah just around and i needed to, to come here and see if it was just like the whole oh i'm excited because i'm in a new country kind of thing or do i really want to keep focusing on making korean content so i needed to come here and see a little bit of that and see what i really thought what i really wanted to do where i was gonna head from here onwards so to be quite honest my first few days in korea they were a bit hard they were a bit they seemed okay i was getting adjusted and yeah they were fine but i was a bit like i'm not so sure about it the third day i was gonna like oh what am i doing I'm not sure obviously i'm missing the kids a lot i yeah i really really miss them every single day so i was like is it just that or am i just like don't want to be in korea any longer so that those were the thoughts going through my head and then um i you'll see when you you probably have seen already when i was in seoul the first day that i got to seoul i was feeling a bit i think overwhelmed and very i don't know yeah, I just felt like very overwhelmed when I was when I first got to Seoul and that day a few a few like people wanted to meet me and I'm like no I don't I just want to like feel my feels <laughs> and that is it so that's what I wanted to do and after that I realized before that and after that and whilst and so I realized that yeah I do want to keep doing this I mean it would be better if I came to Korea every six months instead of every year but it's something that i do have to work on and i had to like work out with babysitters and the kids and have a talk with the kids especially my kids are very freaking smart so <laughs> they will tell me yes no whatever so there is something that i wanted to talk about with the family with the kids and uh, the dad and we'll see where it goes from there but yeah i think i would like to come to to Korea every six months and be here for two weeks the most but we, we shall see what happens we need to see what what really is going to happen I originally do want to bring the kids over here to see Korea uh, I know Dwayne's not really interested but um Henry is Logan's been like and eh, not so much but we will see about that and see what happens from there too um, I got a friend that she's, she's like, oh, why don't we come over here in March, next March? And she would bring her two kids and then I would bring um, Logan and Henry which are the ones that want to come over. Because I, Dwayne wants to go away with his, um, <laughs> his friends. So we shall see what happens from there. It's, um, it's just like ideas up in the air. But I do think that I want to keep coming over here every six months originally. I think that's that's the idea right now I'm not sure if I'm gonna change my mind or not hopefully I won't I'm a person that likes to keep her word so I take my word very seriously <laughs> and so I am putting out there that I do want to come here every six months we will see what happens and how things turn out to go but yeah anyway uh, let's take you with me right now we are gonna go over to the Nasangdong area of Sejong. We are gonna go to Daiso and buy some little presents, some little gifts for everybody back home. So yeah, why don't I take you guys with me? Let's go now. Okay, I'm seeing which one gets here first. <laughs> here we are, elevator time. We put this one and we go into the first one. So yeah, let's see what the weather is like today. I'm wearing shorts today without any tights. So we shall see what it's like, I guess. We might make 
My curls over here, they go like super curly. Oh, that's okay, right? <laughs> Come on. I think we that. Look, there's a little bike there. And nobody's gonna steal it. Nobody's gonna do anything to it. Okay, so there's one question that I've got. Do Korean girls really not have any cellulite at all? I don't see any. Okay, so <laughs> I'm struggling right now with my top because I got this top and like it keeps going down. It was fine right now. Now it's suddenly going up and down, up and down. So I'm just like, oh. That's the thing, like, apparently, like, Koreans do not like this, like, showing this part, but. So, yeah. But anyway, what I said before, do Korean girls really not have any cellulite? Because <laughs> I've seen so many Korean girls with, like, super tiny shorts, and 100% of them don't have any cellulite. Or have I just. I don't know, but all these girls that I've seen, they don't have any cellulite. So. Damn. <laughs> I was like, cool, so. So, yeah, I'm wearing shorts right now. So, to me, it's like I don't really have cellulite, but I do have a little bit of cellulite on my legs, like on the back of my legs. And I suddenly feel unconscious, like a bit conscious about it. And I'm like, eh, I'm not a person that bothers about things like that. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel a bit weird. Like, my confidence is always 100%, but right now it's like, hmm, okay then. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just gonna keep on walking right now. So yeah, oh, I can't be filming others. There's people over there. So yeah, let's keep going.